we're going to talk about Ireland as a jurisdiction for data protection uh, litigation. And the reason for this is effectively that you're all aware that Ireland is becoming increasingly important in a data protection landscape for both uh, regulation and enforcement of data protection and also in terms of the cases that are beginning to arise or have already arisen in Ireland. And I suppose just as a straw poll, have any of you had any dealings with our Irish Data Protection Commissioner? Uh, <laughs> I can see Richard raising his hand there. And <laughs> and have any of you, given the, I suppose, increasing importance of Ireland as a jurisdiction, have any of you got worries about that, given that there's all of this talk about light touch regulation, or <laughs> Richard is raising his hand again. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I, I would hope to show you that it's not really light touch regulation. Um, that it's quite a good jurisdiction for uh, cases, but I suppose that will be ultimately up to the Data Protection Commissioner to highlight that. You might have had a sense of that from her talk uh, yesterday as well. <coughs> but what I'm going to look at today is I'm going to look at existing data protection cases that have arisen under our existing data protection acts. That's the 1988 act as amended by a 2003 amendment act. I'm also going to look at cases where the Irish courts have referred questions to the Court of Justice of the EU. And I'm going to look at the likely impact of uh, GDPR. So in terms of the evolution of data protection litigation in Ireland, um, looking at litigation under the existing Act, that's both civil and criminal cases. Litigation under our Electronic Privacy Regulations 2011, and in particular criminal prosecutions, because there's been a lot of criminal prosecutions. And as I mentioned, the likely impact of uh, GDPR. And I suppose the key considerations in the types of cases that are coming before the Irish courts are, you know, what type of powers does the DPC have? And unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on your perspective on, on matters, there is no power at the moment for the Data Protection Commissioner to levy fines. And that has a particular impact on the cases that arise in Ireland, because if the DPC doesn't have the power to levy fines, she has to look at alternative models for enforcing data protection obligations. And she looks at alternatives. So there are certain offences under the Act that she can bring criminal prosecutions. And as a result, where there's been particularly egregious behaviour, she has brought criminal prosecutions as a means of enforcing data protection. In addition to that, we also have Section 7 of the Data Protection Acts, which allows data subjects to try to enforce their own rights and to allege that there has been a breach of a duty of care to the data subject from either a data controller or a data processor. So you get a certain amount of cases coming before the courts in relation to Section 7, and also you have a proactive commissioner who is almost suggesting to data subjects that they might want to think about bringing cases before the Irish courts. In addition to that, I suppose when you don't have a power to levy fines, you get more of uh, enforcement notices being issued, information notices or prohibition notices. But you've also got a scenario where in Ireland there might be a focus on trying to persuade data controllers to comply. And by that I mean that if, they, if you try to highlight a compliance culture that is good for data controllers and data processors, they may be persuaded to compliance without the need for fines, even if uh, a, a fining regime existed. The other thing, I suppose, is that you look at the level of complaints in relation to different areas, and there's a particular focus on access requests. So 56% of all complaints to the Office of the Data Protection Commissioner last year related to access requests. If you've got that level of complaints, the chances are there's going to be more cases around access requests. Now, that's probably a symptom of the Irish economic downturn, in that, as a result of people not being particularly happy with the banks, there tends to have been a lot more access requests into the banks. Some people would say it's to enforce rights, other people would say it's just to make the bank's life uh, a particular misery uh, by asking for an awful lot of data. Um, and I'll leave that to your own uh, discretion in terms of what, what you think of that. Then there's also been appeals from DPC decisions. And in relation to electronic privacy regulations, 
there's a particular focus on marketing and criminal prosecutions in respect of marketing, and I look at that as well.